Okay, so um, I'm gonna go see if I can get on some cold weather pond bass. It was actually like really freaking cold this morning. There was ice everywhere up in the mountains. So I don't know. I've got um, I've got some time to kill fishing with like a jerk bait and a drop shot. And I'm gonna be hitting some ponds around the area and just doing a little pond hop and see if I can get on some frigid old LMBs. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, guys, made it out to our first spot. Um, this is a very urban setting. There's a man-made lake that's back here around these like office buildings. And Riley told me that there's bass back in here. Riley, AKA Stones Fishing, go check him out on YouTube. He said that there are some bass back in here. So we're gonna go give it a shot. If there's not any bass back here, um, there are several other ponds that are in the area that we're gonna go look at. So. Today's setup, running with a bio spawn drop shot worm and a Stabile Starshine or Jerkbait on my casting setup. Running fairly light line today. My casting setup is a medium power rod with 10 pound fluorocarbon. So it is a tad bit light for a casting setup. Um, and then for my spinning setup, it's the same as always. It's eight pound fluoro on a medium heavy rod, but a medium heavy spinning rod is about the same as like a medium power casting rod. So we'll see how she goes. I don't even know if I'm allowed to fish here. It's pretty shallow. So it might actually be more conducive for the jerk bait, but I'm gonna sling the drop shot out there first to see what happens. Oh, there's a Senko, right? Okay, yeah, that confirms it. Right there. There's a Senko right there. So just the sheer fact that I'm not the only one and Riley is not the only one that's fished this pond is all that I all the confirmation I need that there is in fact fish in this pond. It's a pretty small pond, which is a good sign. It means I can fish fish a lot of it relatively fast. And there's a kitchen, there's a Chinese place right next door. So if I get hungry, I can grab some munchies. Do not feed the waterfowl. That's what the sign says. What if I'm feeding the bass? Is that a concern for anyone? I'm wondering if I get a Karen yelling at me today. That'd be kind of funny. I'm gonna tie on a rattle trap. I just have way more confidence in a trap than a jerk bait. Lots of grass. That's for damn sure. There's got to be some bass in that main area. I don't think they're going to be back here. I wonder if I can hit that seagull out there. Oh my gosh. I got a fish, guys. I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. I got one. No way, no way, no way. No freaking way. Don't come off, don't come off. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, yes, guys. Look at that. LM, oh, don't do that, please don't do that. L. M freaking B the rattle trap at the community pond. That is freaking sweet. Just look at this. Look at where look at where I am right now. Look at where I am right now. That's a Roxy's right there. They serve delicious Hawaiian food. And I just I caught a little bass. Looks like he's got craw antenna down his throat. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, little guy. y'all pond one success
assess. Gave it a good maybe 40 minutes before we had anything, but I just figured, you know, it's deep. It looks deeper over here. I just can't believe this. I, I could, I couldn't, I've gone to this Roxy's right here, this Hawaiian restaurant, so many times. And it's just like, I've never once thought that there would actually be fish in this pond, but I just caught one. And this is, this is wild. This is just so freaking cool to me. Um, and on, without a doubt, my favorite wintertime bait, a little rattle trap. I'm telling you guys, if you're not fishing this bait in the wintertime, at least maybe late fall when that water gets cold, you need to be doing it. They absolutely love it. And as you saw, that bass destroyed it. So let's keep walking around. Let's see if we can get any more. That actually feels so freaking good. I haven't caught a bass in so long too. I think that's been, that was my first, that's my first bass in a couple, maybe two months or so. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Just like, I got another one. This one maybe feels better. Oh my God, back to back casts. Uh, it's like the same size. Oh my God, no way. That's just wild. Back to back casts. All right, there's another one. Literally next cast on that freaking rattle trap. How crazy is that? in a concrete jungle. That's just wild. I can't believe it, dude. I actually can't believe that. This is this is awesome. This is so freaking this is so freaking cool. It just goes to show you just never know. You never know. Even in urban settings like this, you can still go out and catch some fish. And I just caught two bass on back-to-back -back casts in in freaking November, late November, too. Could you imagine coming here when the water was maybe a little bit warmer and they were actually maybe a little bit more active? Another one, another one. Are you, oh, this one might, this one actually might be good. Oh my, this one actually might be good. Oh, it's bigger. Oh, dude, no way. That's actually a good one, guys. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. What? That's like a, that's like a solid, maybe pound and a half of bass. Just destroyed the freaking rattle trap. I mean, when I tell you they like the rattle trap this kind of year, y'all better believe it. Look at how he ate that freaking thing. There we go. Like, come on. Look at that bass. Are you kidding me? Who would have thought? Like, who would have thought? I'm telling y'all, the rattle trap, it is the ticket. It is absolutely the ticket for cold water bassing. Oh yeah, there we go. Just like that, we on again. Uh oh, uh oh. Is that a good one? Is that a bagging? I don't feel very big. Come here, come here. Oh, he's got some grass with him. Oh, flip, upsie daisy, let's go. Just another Another solid little bass. I'm surprised that these guys, they have, they have a little bit of a belly to them. I was not really expecting that. See you later, broski. I understand now why YouTubers like John B like to come and fish these little ponds. Cause this, it's like this kind of fishing on a bass lake or on like the Willamette river. If I was having a day like today on the Willamette river where I'm catching only fish that size, I don't know if I would be too crazy ha happy, but this just feels rewarding. Like something about this is just like, I was able to figure this pond out. I found what they want to hit. I figured out where they are.
that was a fish. And tell me that this setting isn't just the coolest thing. I could literally pop into this Mexican restaurant right here and order some food. And this was one of those days where I was just like, and I was just bored and I was like, you know, let's just, let's just go see if I can make a little video. Let's just go see if I can go fishing. And sure enough, the LMBs came out to freaking play. On like my favorite bait too. And there's another one. There's an, oh, this guy's got some spunk to him. That's the little dude. Okay, come here. Get out of those leaves. I don't know what you were trying to do there, guy. Look at that. That rattle trap, just right in the top of the mouth. Another little one. I'm not complaining though. There's some people sitting behind me in a restaurant having dinner and I kind of want to catch a fish like right in front of them. That would just be like the ultimate alpha move. Yeah, I can hang. What's up? Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe not. Come here. Water skimming. Look at that. Yeah, he's not that good. I just thought he was bigger. Hopsy oh, daisy. Hey, buddy. I think. Ah! Stop that. I think you're gonna be my last fish for this pond. It's time, oh God, please don't do that. It's time I go slaughter some bass at some other ponds. But if you could please tell all your Mondo buddies, thank you very much. We appreciate it. But for now guys, let's go check out another pond. We're gonna go check out another little park where there's this, apparently a pond that has some bass in it according to the Fish Brain app. Um, not sure if we're gonna be able to fish it because on Google Maps it looks really grassy. Not too much open water, but we'll, I mean it has been raining a lot recently so we'll see if it's any good. So let's get out there. All right y'all made it to our next park um there's a pond kind of tucked back in these woods i'm gonna go see if i can find it well there's a creek probably not deep enough to hold any fish right now where's this pond at found it um i don't i can't really tell if it's it looks shallow Okay, it looks shallow, so I don't, I want to see if I can find it in deeper, the deepest spot in the pond. It's always the key, that was what I was looking for at that last pond, is it's always crucial to try and find the absolute deepest points you can possibly find in the pond when the water gets cold. This area over here looks decent might be it yeah it is very shallow so ahow lots of thorns oh yeah what the heck was that oh that's a rabbit lots of thorns lots of thorns lots of thorns Oh, I'm, I was literally just dragging, okay. Hmm, uh, yeah, that's a fat no. Before, I like, as literally as soon as my bait touched the water, it got grass on it. So, I'm not gonna bother fishing this pond. Let's quit while we're ahead. We caught seven, six, seven bass at that first pond that I would have been very perfectly content just catching one two maybe three little ones but we caught we caught you know a good helping of bass today and you know some of them were a little bit on the small side but one of them was was at least at least a pound and a half i'm not complaining um yeah uh keep an eye out i'm gonna be working on filming more videos recently just kind of get back into the flow of things um as for this 
video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more fishing and outdoor content. I will be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, which I know is still like a decent amount of subscribers away, but maybe this is just like my first challenge to you guys to incentivize you guys to get into the flow and to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And as always, folks, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more fishing and outdoor content. And I will catch you all on the next fishing adventure. I'm out.